Hi folks, what we're going to do today is we are going to look at something called a switch statement. A switch statement is much like a nested if statement, but slightly more efficient. And let's have a look how. So what we're going to do from our event begin play is we're going to drag out and type the word switch, just like so. And then if we look on switch on string, which is what we're going to use for this one, we press this and then we have multiple elements to start dealing with. What you have is your selection, which is basically the data that you're putting into this, and then you're going to have the pins, which are your array elements, which be the data coming out of it. So what I'm going to do is put this into here for player name. So our player name in this scenario is defaulted to Dave. So I'm going to add a pin. I'm going to change the array element here and call it Dave, just like so. I'll add another one in for fun call it Bob, and another one, and call it Alex. So what we're doing is we're checking the selection, if it matches one of these array elements, and then it will output some data. Just to be sure, we're going to put some strings in. So we're going to set this one to one, Bob to two, Alex to three, like this, and then default we'll set to zero. So now, remember, no, our player name is Dave. If I compile this and run it, it should say one at the top there because it's finding the data within the switch statement for Dave and then outputting this string. Now, if I change the player name to say Alex, what will happen is when I compile it, it should bring up number three because of course it's bringing the data from Alex. Now, for whatever reason, if I added a name which isn't in there, like Ian, and then I compiled it, and then I played it, it should default to zero for the actual default of the switch statement. And that's how you use switch statements.